Okay, we having fun yet? Hopefully so. All right, so let's save this as file. Save as under the file menu. Save as Control as Windows Command as Macintosh. Save as version three. Again, good hap to get into, guys. This way you can have different versions for the see your client. Now, we're not going to go into very big details. My objective here is to make this a fluid, flexible design so it works on all three devices. Now, in CS6, I said it correctly that time, we have these little icons down here that we can just click to. In CS5.5, you have to do it from here. You have to click here and then pick tablet and pick smartphone, etc., etc. But we can do that right from here now in CS6. So I'm just going to put some content here into the magic of Editing, I'm just going to go to a website, copy and paste some text. Okay, so I'm going to return to and I'm just going to paste. It's going to paste some content here. Okay, now I talked about this before, but the first section of every tag, whether it's an HTML5 tag or whether it's a div tag, with this exception of the nav tag, should start off with an H1 tag. So we're going to make this an H1, then it can make it one. We're going to make this an H2, H1 tag as well, but in command 1. We're going to make this side tag in H1, but in command 1. We're going to have to return key. I'm just going to copy and paste some of this text here so we have some kind of content to work with. Copy, paste. Okay? So we're on a roll here. Okay? Now, again, we're not going to go into great detail with setting up the markup of these tags. The objective of this particular series here is to show you how to use a basic web design and turn it into a web design that works on iPad and iPhone or any other device, Sidekicks, Android, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, first of all, I want to share with you a little technique here. We're going to go to the window menu. We're going to pick a files window. Files, command F, Macintosh, control F for Windows. All right, so in our file manager here, I'm just going to slide this over a little bit. Now, I want to put a folder inside this folder. So the simplest way to do this is to control click Windows or right control click Macintosh, right click this folder. And inside that folder, I'm going to select the folder first. We're going to pick another folder called CSS. Okay, so we're going to make a series of external style sheets. Now, I want to caution you about something here, okay? There's a lot of other videos out there that right from the beginning they tell you to make an external style sheet. That's bad technique because if you think about this intuitively, if you start out your design to show to your client with an external style sheet, you can't show them version 1, version 2, version 3, version 4. Why? Because it's all tied to the same external style sheet. So therefore it defeats the purpose. So don't put your external style sheets inside your version page. Okay, now the exception here is I'm making external style sheets for my three different devices, desktop device, tablet device, and smartphone or iPhone device. So how do we do this? Okay, now what I would suggest you do here, we're going to take this file and we're going to say save as, and I'm going to call this MD for multiple device. This way we have the regular design to go back to before we put the external style sheets here. Okay, so I just want to share with you a concept. Now here's how we do this, all right? Very simply, take it one step at a time. Drum roll, please. We're going to go under modify. We're going to go to media queries. Now this is going to put the viewpoint, viewport, rather metadata inside your page. Now if you're doing this in the real world, in my video series for $39 for three months, at thinklearnearn.com, which you should definitely sign up for. It'll be out a week from today, uh, Monday, May 14th, which is uh, three days after my 53rd birthday, by the way. So for those of you that want to send me a nice birthday present, I like green. Actually, not green as in money, but green as in shirt color. Anyway, so we're going to go to media queries. We're going to modify media queries for this document only. Now, this is something you can do in CS 5.5. This also works in CS 5.5. We're going to click Default Presets. Now, this is a very cool technique here, all right? We're going to set a preset for an iPhone, a tablet, and a desktop. Now, what are we going to call this? Well, let's keep it simple and call it desktop.css. Now, here's how this works. Just like 
images go into images folder, CSS should go inside the CSS folder. That's part of the reason a second ago I created a folder inside my, this particular folder. So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to navigate my way to that folder we just created. So inside that folder right here, we're going to create desktop.css into the return key. So it basically puts the file right here. Then we're going to click tablet. We're going to click this folder icon. We're going to navigate our way. Now, unfortunately, just remember this, which is kind of an operating system problem. We're going to double click here, double click here. And we're going to call this tablet to so A-P-L-E-T dot C-S-S. Okay. So now it has the path to the tablet. Now, if you don't set up your folder in advance, unfortunately, the interface doesn't let you make a folder on the fly. That's why I created the folder first. Then I select smartphone or iPhone in this particular case. I'm going to click the folder icon, navigate my way. Again, you have to do this, these steps here. It doesn't remember the folder. Double click, double click, and we're going to call this iPhone. iPhone.css. Okay, simple, simple, simple. I now hit OK, make a change, save a change. Now, what this did, this created, if you look up here in the top left-hand corner, it created these external style sheets. Now, right now, just to share with you, there's nothing inside the external style sheets. Because I haven't done anything. There's nothing inside of there. Okay, now if you go to your code here, I'm going to share with you what that did here. It went to the metadata and it put it in my viewport. Viewport metadata. Basically, this tells the different devices to look at those different CSS files. Okay, so cool stuff happening here. It basically wrote the code right here. One for the width of 320, greater than 321 is 768, which is your iPad, and here's your desktop greater than 369. Okay, so I just want you to absorb that and take that into note for a second. We're going to continue building this in our next video. So I just want to keep these videos short and sweet. This way you can navigate to the different videos without watching 20, 30 minutes worth of video. I want to keep these videos to four and five minutes at a time if possible. So I'll see you in the next video.